All right, hey there, this is Jacob, and this is a monthly Crypto Hopper uh, update video. And yeah, we've kind of been hanging out in this prolonged bear market. Um, there are some interesting signs of uh, potential turnaround in the last 24 to 48 hours, but we'll have to just kind of wait and see. So uh, this video, like a lot of the crypto market recently, uh, will remain kind of boring on the report, especially with the way that I'm using the hopper currently. There would have been lots of opportunities over this last 48 to do some quick uh, trades and profits, um, but I didn't didn't do any of those. I've still been holding these four positions, two of these X uh, Monero positions, a Litecoin position, an Ethereum position, all uh, with uh, double digit losses and just still playing the waiting game uh, for those to get gains above Bitcoin. But um, yeah, it seems like the the waiting is gonna need to continue to get there. Uh, we did earlier get those two sells on Litecoin with some profits. These current settings, again, I have it set for a 10% um, profit sell with a trailing loss. Uh, so it'll go up 10% and then the trailing loss engages and when it falls down, uh, I think it have it set when it falls down 2%, it will sell. So in this case, that would have hit around 13 and this one 14. Uh, but again, this is already now back at the beginning of May. Here we are in July, middle of July. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be some waiting. What I, I will share with you what I've been doing with the rest of my portfolio Um is looking at it at a, just a monthly basis. As again, I'm not actively trading. And looking at how each position is performed over a 30-day period. And if a position has uh, been in profit, which obviously has been more, more rare, but I do have like a few this month, uh, some of the positions I'm holding in Stellar Lumens, 0x, and Wax, uh, we're all in, in profit. So whatever percentage of profit that is uh, over that 30-day period, I will go ahead and sell that same percentage of the position that I have. So in the case of uh, Stellar Lumens, for example, I'll, I'll sell that percentage of uh, Lumens so that I can do a little rebalancing in my portfolio with other positions that are in a loss over the last 30 days. So uh, interesting experiment, you know, not, not really active, but kind of gives me enough that um, I can kind of be moving around these positions, taking advantage of accumulating tokens and projects that um, I still really, uh, you know, like and I think have have a lot of promise long term. Um, but definitely a longer a longer play right now. A lot more waiting, a lot less active trading, and uh, and still kind of seeing uh, the re return of the the bull market here. So maybe we. Are at the beginning of that maybe we still need to wait till the end of the summer fall who knows we'll see um anyway that's a quick update on it not much else to report uh if you're doing anything particularly interesting with crypto hopper right now happy to hear about it again i'll probably stick with the strategy for now but i'll still uh, keep putting out the monthly report and whether it takes uh three months six months nine months or something we'll see if this strategy pays off um, and, and how long it takes. So we're already at what 80 days, 80 days for these two positions, 73 for these two. Yeah, and since this is all I have allocated 0.2 Bitcoin for the hopper to play with, and kind of these 0.05 positions, it's really just kind of stuck there and, and waiting for now. And I'm not going to, uh, not going to mess with it. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll keep you posted. And uh, until then, if you're uh, new to this series and you want to check out the crypto hopper and play around with all the different strategies that you have uh, the affiliate link is below and uh, yeah feel free to feel free to, to dip on in there's also a really active much more active community than I've been right now uh, with some particular strategies that are designed for active trading in bear markets um, so yeah I'd be interested to hear if, if any of you are using those how's that been performing um, during this sort of prolonged bear market, and especially over the last 48 hours where we saw, um, you know, sort of a spike in Bitcoin's price action and the rest of the market following it, um, how did that play out for you? All right, uh, thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.